So many golfers do struggle in and around the green. What seems to be a very simple chip and run shot can be an absolute nightmare for many golfers. The contact's not there, the distance control's not there, the confidence levels just absolutely plummet and it becomes a very difficult part and frustrating part of the game. Ping a Burrata club that they feel is gonna solve all those issues or potentially help you to chip better in and around the greens. So this club isn't new. Ping have actually had one of these clubs out in the past and they brought it back now. But a little bit more modernised now with modern materials, uh, a little bit of talk talking points, which we're obviously going to run through in this particular video. But this club is called a chipper, a very simple little chipper. It's a cross between a putter and a wedge. And hopefully this is going to help you solve your issues in and around the green. So let's talk a little bit about the club itself and the makeup of the head. So chipper, it's 38.5 degrees of loft. So it's similar to like a nine iron loft. Now the depth of the head is very similar between a putter and a wedge or in between a putter and a wedge. So a shallower than a, obviously a, a, a nine iron itself. And the real big talking point here is the sole very simple it's just a wider sole eight degrees of bounce so just allowing that club to hit the ground and sort of glide through the ground and sort of like skid across the surface so really helping to possibly reduce those chunk shots especially for maybe those different lies that we've get faced with on the golf course sometimes we get those really tight lies don't we that are very nervy for anybody who's who's hasn't got a lot of confidence with chipping you know those chunks the thins will sort of come in and this is all really trying to gear around trying to reduce those in imperfection of those strikes. Okay, let's, so let's really see how this chipper feels. Now, obviously with the putter makeup, 35 inches, 70 degrees of lie, as you sit this down by the golf ball, you're obviously more into that putting position. You're a lot close to the ball because of the more upright lie angle and you're into more of those eyes starting to get more over the golf ball because of the length of the golf club. So it's very much simulating that putting setup. Now we know as we put, we would like to create that pendulum action, that rocking back, rocking through, very quiet with the body. And I think that element can be taken to this particular club. What I would say there is Ping is saying you can use this club from 40 yards in. Probably don't disagree with that. But I think to use more of that square on and that typical putting action, that for me would be just literally in and around the green, on the edges of the green. You could start to get that similarity of your putting action more upright and then start to feel that sort of rock back and rock forward and we're going to get some nice strikes now obviously as the stroke gets a little bit longer you are going to introduce a little bit of hip turn which is absolutely fine and that's something i would definitely recommend playing on those shots and probably more so when you start to go a little bit further away from the green so on top of all that we also have the modern technology that ping introduced into their irons for instance that hydro pearl 2.0 finish which is obviously helping with that moisture uh, dispersion between the shots better ball control more spin we've got the micro max grooves helping with a little bit of spin we've got the traditional sort of perimeter weighting you know more weight in that toe and the heel taken out of that cavity that's replaced with that composite sort of badge in the back we can see that weighted screw in the toe which we're seeing a lot of ping irons again moving that sense of gravity getting in a precise location for better ball speed and control for those ultimately those touch shots in and around the green so i think really with that setup being a much closer like a putter i think that will fill a lot of golfers with confidence especially the golfers who are really struggling in this aspect of the game that shorter shaft i think will help being more over the golf ball i think will help and create more of that putting action trying to keep those wrists a little bit more quieter i think will definitely help as well now this club isn't going to stop your wrist at all but it gets you in a position that potentially you've got a chance to feel a slightly different action than what you've been previously used to. Now with that dialer grip that Ping use, it's, we've seen this in the glide wedges, it's quite a long grip so you can actually even start to go down. You've got three little markers there that you can use as a reference point just gripping up and down. So if you like to go down that grip and get a little bit more of that control, you've got the option to do that in this particular grip. That's a really good strike. 
And that's what it's all about, is getting that connection. You know, ultimately, these shots is about feel, isn't it? But you can only build feel through a consistency of a connection. If your strike is all over the place, you don't know how that ball's gonna react. You can't judge distance on those particular shots. And that scenario is gonna change from hole to hole when you're out on that golf course. So we've gotta get a good striker. Potentially, with a bit of weight in this head, the setup, the makeup of the club, it might give you that chance. Okay, so let's test it on that longer shot now. So 30 yards, a little bit of a longer swing to be made now. So this is where it starts to go a little bit more away from an actual putting stroke. It's gotta be a little bit of hinge involved now, a little bit more body turn. What's really quite interesting there is I didn't get absolutely perfect on that strike. I definitely caught the ground a little bit before that, and that's where that sole just helped me out on that particular shot. Okay, so those shots were off the fairway. Now what happens now if you get into the rough? Now Ping is saying you can easily use this as well in the rough. So what I've done here, I've just popped the ball into a little bit of a cut of rough. Let's just see how it reacts coming out of this lie. Now this is where I feel this wider sole was going to really help me coming through this grass it's going to get me coming through and keep it gliding through this grass now a bit of a tricky shot i've given myself here i'm going to see this bunker's just starting to get into play i've got a ridge and i'm about 25 yards ish from the flag so this 38 and a half degree of loft isn't enough loft to get this up and out of this lie to take this ridge out of the equation and try and land it and stop it i'm going to have to now run it up and that's where maybe certain situations this club doesn't really lend itself great if it's completely flat run up because the ball's going to come out nice and low run along and make that um, distance up through the run but this shot's now a little bit different I'll be wanting to now you know get my 58 degree out here and try and take this this bunker out of play try and take this ridge out of play and just sort of land it softly but I understand a lot of golfers will struggle to play that shot so let's give this one a go out of the rough see how it feels I'm going to like this sort of tightness to the ball it feels like I've really got a bit of control now Just a little bit, right? I was trying to keep it away from that bunker there, but the strike was good. Definitely that sole just glided through that, that, um, that grass there quite nicely. And I'll probably take that, you know, safe shot away from there, all sloped off, I'm just on the edge of the green. So this is gonna be a very specialized club in your golf bag. So if you're currently carrying 14 clubs and you're really using all 14, you're gonna to have to take one out, obviously, to get this in there. And that's a sacrifice, isn't it? Which one are you gonna take out? Is that a hybrid? Is that maybe another wedge to put this in? Now, as we just explained there, we've got some different shots where maybe this isn't quite suited and you might need that lob wedge but potentially took that out to put this in so you you obviously got to make a decision what's more of a priority for you making those good connections on those little chip shots might just be an overriding factor to take another club out advice first if you've got 13 clubs and you're struggling with chipping it's not a bad option to put in there is it you know as that specialized club as we sort of mentioned so definitely worth having a go give it a go see how you feel with it first i think that's the big thing with this and most golfers as i've titled this uh, video won't try this they won't want to buy it in a way it's like you're admitting that you're a really bad chipper but do you know what if it helps your enjoyment of the game lowers your scores who really cares